Well, if we were to uh, pop out your crystal ball there, uh, Nick, um, where would you, in your opinion, obviously, where do you see the property investment uh, um, sort of in general heading in the next six to 12 months or so? And what do you think we can do to best prepare for it? Okay, getting my crystal ball out. Um, <laughs> the, I mean, I, I can. I suppose I'm going to talk from my experience in, in, in Bristol. Um, but the way the way I see it is obviously prices are are really starting to 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 increase quite quickly. Um, and I think traditional, some of the more traditional investing is becoming harder. So your traditional single lets, for example, your two three bed terrace houses, always been fantastic good investment stock are really shooting up in price. There's a mix of first time buyers going for those, a lot of investors are going for those types of properties. So ultimately that means the returns, the return on your investment on these sort of properties is getting worse. So I think the thing to do is look at alternatives to that and get a little bit more creative. So it's either if you are getting those sort of properties or looking to, to buy or, or rent even those sorts of properties is looking at how you can be creative in the ways you rent them out so whether you do it you're doing that room by room whether you're doing it on a particular model for housing allowance tenants or students or whatever you're doing is is get a bit a little bit smarter about that and utilizing the space um, in in how you're going to do that um, i think also i see i, mean, I was talking to a, an agent in east bristol just just the other day um, and his experience is that prices are going up. He reckoned in, in average kind of terrace houses are going up about five thousand a month at the moment, which is which is incredible. Uh, his view, and, and I share it actually, is that that things will probably plateau out at some point. Um, not sure if they'll drop dramatically, but they'll plateau out. However, I'm not sure if they're really going to drop very much. So again, the sooner you can just get involved and get get going and take action. I think the better. And the important thing is is secure things, bulletproof things. So make sure you get a good, you know, get a good income from the properties that you're doing. So whatever happens to prices, even if they do drop, I'm not sure if they will, but even if they did, you've still got that income secured coming out of your property. Um, and I think that's the most important thing. The most important thing is to look at the return you're getting from the money you're putting in. Um, and I think that's everyone sometimes get a little bit too emotional about property, um, and you forget the numbers, and you've just got to you've just got to look at that return on investment. I think that's the crucial figure to look at. So just just get creative, really, in uh, in what's in what you're looking at. Okay. Um, so my next question then is, uh, 